UFC 196 is a blockbuster with two title fights sharing the spotlight in Las Vegas. By the way, champion Conor McGregor has made plenty of noise with his mouth and fists, and he's aiming to add another notch to his belt against Nate Diaz. This was supposed to be the first champion versus champion fight since welterweight king George St. Pierre defeated lightweight champ BJ Penn at UFC 94, but lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos had to pull out and was replaced by Diaz. It was supposed to be held in Brazil originally, but has been moved to Las Vegas. The co-main event features women's bantamweight champion Holly Holm making her first title defense against Misha Tate. For the lightweight championship bout of the night, the lightweight champion Dos Anjos, who's 25-7, made short work of Donald Cerrone over 66 seconds in December for his fifth straight win and was set up to face the UFC's top superstar, Conor McGregor. However, Dos Anjos had to pull out due to injury and has been replaced by Nate Diaz, who's 18-10. McGregor, who's 19-2, needed just 13 seconds to take the featherweight belt from Jose Aldo, and he is an incredibly accurate striker with a 3-inch reach advantage. Although Dos Anjos will have probably given him all he can handle, Diaz likely will not. Our pick for this fight is McGregor. For the women's bantamweight bout, Holm, who's 10-0, shocked the world by destroying Ronda Rousey in November, but she has been a world-class boxer who stuck to her plan by keeping Rousey at a distance. She will probably use the same plan against Tate, who's 17-5, who has won four straight since her second loss to Rousey back in December 2013. She is a grinder, a wrestler who will want to get this to the mat. But if Rousey couldn't do it, can't Tate? The winner will get Rousey when she is fully headed from her loss to home, and the champ will be motivated to prove it was no fluke. Our pick for this fight is home. For the light heavyweight bat of the night, Anderson, who's 8-1, won the Ultimate Fighter 19 tournament and his last win came against Fabio Maldonado in November, where he coincidentally filled in for an injured Lolor, who was 10-5 and won no contest. Both men are wrestlers with knockout power, but Lolor has the edge on the mat with his jiu-jitsu. That being said, Anderson is a beast and might overpower Lolor. Our pick for this fight is Anderson. For the welterweight bout of the night, sometimes Silva, who is 18-6 and won no contest, looks like the next great 170-pounder with a strong all-around game, and others, he will either gas out or make a mistake. Talib, who is 11-3, was submitted by Wally Alves in August. And while he has a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he will want no parts of Silva on the mat. However, Silva will use his wrestling to get him there. Our pick for this fight is Silva. For the featherweight bat of the night, Elkins, who's 19-5, has alternated wins and losses over his last six fights, most recently picking up a win over Robert Whiteford in October. Skelly, who's 15-1, has won four in a row, twice by submission and one by TKO. Both of these fighters are active and nothing else. This fight should get the main card off to a fast start, but Skelly is on a roll right now. Our pick for this fight is Skelly.